Hello, and now we are going to be doing what we've been waiting for all day, which is the reveal of the new colour lock. Um, what, do you, what do you going to call it? What's the, this new gizmo called? Uh, it's so new so that we don't have a name for it. So it is a, it's a colour scanner mm -hmm. that gives you the recipe of this colour lock you want to, to mix and match. And um, yeah, so we, we have to create a a name, so it's really brand new. You are really the first two guys that I show this outside mm -hmm. of the company. So we get to name it. Yeah, yeah we, we, call it, we call it John. 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 Yeah, we John. call it John, so we're going to use John. Okay, so we use the John now. <laughs> John is John essentially a Bluetooth um, color sensor, color scanner. Yes. And it works with the existing color lock app that you have on your Android telephone, uh, and it will beam a message. So essentially, you come across any color leather you like in the world. You stick the sensor onto it, you press go, and it will send the information to the app, and the app will then have a bit of a think, and then it will give you a recipe to be able to mix the color um, so that you can work on any color seat um, with the uh, color lock pack, so to speak. Or yeah, the palette, yeah, if yeah. You like. yeah. So, what you need is the 27 colors what we have. Mm -hmm. It's 27 basic color, but we have 22 basic colors, and, and we have this five luminous colors, but you need mm -hmm. the luminous colors also because sometimes to get the right brightness, mm -hmm. you need also some luminous color inside, so this, you need this 27 colors and you need John, the mobile phone mm -hmm. and, um, and and the normal kit that you have to do and no, you need a, decent scales. a scales of course, no? and then you can scan the color, get a recipe on the phone and yeah, well, it works. works. But you have to know it's the same again, like with the normal scale, uh, with, the, with, the, with the app before. Mm -hmm. That when you have a recipe, you mix it. You have to test if it matches very well, and sometimes you have to. You still have to do a little bit of treatment. A little bit of treatment of this. But what is now easier? You get a recipe with four colors, mm -hmm. and you can get the final match if it's not good enough. Mm -hmm. You get the final match just with these four colors. I so see. you don't have to choose. Again, over all 27 colors, now you take this four colors, what is already inside, mm -hmm. to come closer and it works very quickly. That's brilliant. So yeah. that, those last four, the kind of, it, it makes it much simpler to do those final tweaks. Um, what I'd suggest is, we've, we've got Ian here, who's been with us all the time. Give us a wave, Ian. Woo. Um, and uh, the idea is that it is actually going to use the app. Ian has used the color lock system and various other paint mixing systems for leather in the past. Um, so we'll be able to get a nice verdict from Ian about what it's like to use at the end. Um, so should we go through the, the modes? We've obviously got a seat here that's not purely there for decoration. I'm guessing this is what we're going to take our colour scan from. No, we're going to take the colour scan for this one. No, we will take the colour scan for this one first. This one's oh, yeah. So we will take this one. Okay. And um, first thing before, before everybody comes to know this, um, so it is not 100% finished now, this product. So yeah, we still prototype. work on this, yeah. yeah. It's a prototype. We will launch it on SEMA, so the first week of November. Mm -hmm. At this moment, it is available to buy. Yeah, and we will have everything finished. So what we have at the moment, for example, just work on Android, mm -hmm. but of course we have to work on the also on Apple. Apple. Yeah. yeah, that is what we what we what we do at the moment. We do we programmize the app also that it works for Apple, and we also will build up a big more big database, a big which database. is what we saw going on yes, upstairs. Yes. So. So, but you know, 8,000 samples plus some more mm -hmm. needs a few days, no? Yeah, it takes a little while. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little while. You have one. Um, okay, yeah. so that was, this was the first. So then you open the app and then you will, when you have the updated app, what will come after or on SEMA, mm -hmm. yeah? Then you get this option, you can choose, look for a recipe about the car factory, mm -hmm. BMW for example. I see then, yeah. yeah. Or go in contact with, uh, with, with, yeah. with John, no? So, um, so you have to, to wake him up and you push on the head. That's how you normally wake up a jump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you go off connecting and then it will connect to this um, scanner. So it's using Bluetooth, so you're going to have what, a five to seven meter range or so in an open environment? No, um, ten mostly, no? Ten. Yeah. And then um, the first thing what you always have to do, not, not on the day, but every day when you use it first time, you have to do a calibration. Mm -hmm. Which you would with, with all sorts of meters and gauges. Yeah. yeah. So you would show you the little white dots on the bottom of there, that's a little yeah. white, cool. white button sensor just to yeah. calibrate the machine. There's a, there's a, what do you call this in English? An arrow. Yeah. What do you call it? Arrow. Arrow, okay, in German it's file. So this arrow and this arrow have to go together and then you go and calibrate and then calibrate and that's finished. 
And then you go with the scanner, so then you switch to choice a color. Mm -hmm. And then you go here, or here, or here, it's not the... I imagine there's different you take multiple readings with it from one thing to No, but it doesn't count it. Okay. So, um, then you push the button. What do you I use? Can see the phone is a Yeah. Yeah. And then you get a... And so it gives you straight away the recipe. Straight away the recipe, yeah. So you get a, you get a delta here up, mm -hmm. no? um, how close the recipe is really to the original color. And then you get here the recipe um, um, of the what you have to ingredients. Yeah. And what's interesting to note is how many milliliters is that going to make? How many grams is that going to make? At the moment, 100. We work on it to get um, an option that you can choice. Mm -hmm. Like this, what what the uh, app has already now also. No, yeah. no, it's always 100, but we work on that to get a, uh, that you can choice between 50 ml and 1 liter. So, for argument's sake, for that seat to put on a couple of coats of color, how, how much, how many grams would that take? And when you want to when you to clean this and then paint it, the whole seat, you need 50, 60 ml. Okay. Like this, yeah. So 100 grams is certainly plenty to do a seat, but yeah. doing a whole interior. You yeah. Can. Yeah. Of course. Brilliant. Okay, okay, so we've got the figures. Um, interestingly, to give you an idea of just how precise this has to be, the measurements are to within three decimal points after um, the gram. So, for example, this particular one has ochre in it, um, and it wants 7.6954 grams of ochre. Um, and that is why it's really important that people use uh, high grade scales. You can't just use kitchen scales. Um, and it's also really important to shake the bottle before you start matching out because obviously the paints have lots of different components with different weights and if they've been left for a while they'll, they'll, they'll separate like this. Yeah. Um, which is perfectly normal, you just need a, a good wrist action. So we say, we say a scale with point and then two. Two uh, decimal places. Two yeah, decimal places. Yeah, so that's um, what you need. So the, the app will show you three, but, but you what you need is two. Yeah. And it has to be said, a thousandth of a gram is less than a drip, isn't it? So it's very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like spitting in my mouth. Actually, I'm really wrong. <laughs> really wrong. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't matter what all of these go in. Yeah. Does this have four colors? It's not the largest process. No, I start with caramel. I start with the first one. So 32. When weighing out on these scales and with lots of other scales, the other thing to remember is that there's quite often a little lag uh, between you putting the product in and it leveling up. So always do, as you get closer to the target weight, go slower. Um, some people even will use a little syringe um, just to put the last strips in to get it exactly right. Some people have just got remarkably steady hands. Not me. Not you. <laughs> it's the thing. to ask you some questions at this point. Yeah. The part of me is worried that this might put you off your game. What? What's <laughs> <laughs> too that was too there fast. We go. Well I've, I've, while you're mixing that I was just gonna ask is yeah if Ian, Ian does some squirting he likes that I can squirt into a cup. He can squirt into a cup. Ah uh, okay. I've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also done another treatment. Um, but is who you envisage this, because obviously if you're a home user and you're doing yeah. an occasional repair to your own car, maybe your friend's car, it might be a little bit overkill. So it's really, I'm guessing, aimed at the professional leather restorer. Yeah, well, but some private customer just like to have also... The ability to do it, yeah. So, you know, so the, and um, I have also friends that buy electric machines Yes, I mean, you do For get that, yeah. 800 euros and, and you use it twice. twice, yeah. yeah so. Often with colours, I assume white seems to be the dominant, as in you would put the most of white in for, for a lot of colours. Yeah, that's true. Right. The base. Yeah. It's also what I recommend when, when somebody buy. And you say, what is the best option to buy this 27 colors? Mm -hmm. Did I need from everything one liter? Or did I need, it was 250 mil, okay? Mm -hmm. Then I always say, take everything 250 mil, and five but one liter black, one liter white, and one liter ochre. Okay. 
Hvis jeg har set tre, så har jeg lost det. The other thing is that the sensor has an IC function, which is quite good. Yeah. Um, so then we have to mix it. Can you already see? You could definitely brown. It's not too far away. Oh, the 1970s were pretty good. <laughs> So here we're applying it by a uh, little air can. Yeah. Um, you can apply, can you apply it by brush, by sponge. Of course, yeah. Sponge, but, but always, you know, um, when you use a, a brush or you use a sponge, the color is mostly a bit darker. Mm. Yeah. It's interesting. And you can't you can't feather out the water, no? Yeah. So these are these little spray guns are the best yeah. option yeah. if you can. Yeah. And then I always take a glove. To check the first, how the, the spray picture looks like. Yeah. Make sure the gun is there. Mm. Yeah, and then I have a good spray picture, and then we go here. About two, three inches away from the seat. Yeah. Um, constantly moving the spray gun as well. And at this point, it's not about doing the repair, it's about checking the colour to make sure it's a close match. Okay, and then dry the colour because the colour changed from wet to dry also is yes. his looking, so that is also what you have to do. Yeah, and then you have a colour you can straight away work. When it is too dark or it is too grey, uh, or to black or whatever, to red, to green, then you have to add it. Um, add it and adjust. Yeah, yeah add it and adjust. And, um, use a, it's the same, the same game with the, with the color wheel again. Huh? Yes. So if it's to red, for example, so the first thing is you can, we, we recommend to use just this what you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, if it's too red, for, for example, then you can use also um, pine wheels. Yeah, it's yeah, the opposite. So that's how these color wheels work. They're used in all sorts of things. But literally, if it's if it's too yellow, you just draw a line over, and then you'd add in a bit of violet to counteract that. Um, they're very fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you will find the interaction on the back side. No? Ah, interact interactions on the back side. That's yeah, that's good. And in German and English. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. So you have a matching car. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, what we'll do now is uh, leave Ian to it and uh, we'll do a little uh, stop motion for the CGT car. Yeah. Brilliant. 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 Brilliant.